Are you often sexualized in human touch? What does that even mean? That seems like a weird question, I realize. So, are you the kind of person that when you want touch, just like connection and affection and somebody else sexualizes you? Now, the, I think the narrative we have in society that this is usually like, like women want touch and that men sexualize us. And we just want just platonic touch, like cuddling, we want to be restful and relaxed. But what happens when that script is flipped? I just got out of a session with a client and for him, he's actually really sexualized. And so when he's looking for touch and affection, he says that according to him, his experience is that most women maybe project that they, they think, oh, he wants sex, so then that they then act like they fit into that role of like, well, then I'm going to have a sexual thing with him. And it's been really difficult for him to be able to like not, I'm back. All right, where did I leave off? That was a long break. <laughs> All right, so going back. Um, so right, so this this client is like, I sometimes I just want to have affection and care and and like touch that's that's kind of platonic. Um, maybe I'm I'm sure that nice sensual feeling feels really good, but it doesn't have to go sexual. And so what happens? then they come and see me, which is great because you can be guaranteed that with me, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> just the two of us, we can just connect and be cool together and relax and enjoy each other. And there's no performance. Again, there's no expectations. There's no pressure. It can just be us and, and that can be a relief. And also, I mean, it's brand new. So I, get, I also get that it can be difficult to transition from, again, a lot of that sexual energy and building all of that and the conditioning that can happen. And on the other side, what a relief it can be that you can find people, that you can begin the process of unraveling all that conditioning and make these connections that, again, can just be that the both of us are together and really connecting. So, mm. I hope that you have that in your life. If you're always feeling like you're sexualized, find spaces where you can just be yourself and it can be great, nurturing, loving, uh, with all that extra stuff that maybe may be unwanted. All right.